lost to the tickets because of the war, Rick. And then tonight, the Yankees uh, lose 7-6 to six to Toronto up at the stadium, which was only oh, their Yankees second loss of the year. I, it Toronto. was a great game, outstanding game. Most of the, It seemed like every batter went to a full count, but they looked terrific. They were, they that, were, that would have been their third loss. No, it would have been their third. That, that was their third loss. Correct. Still, yeah, the Bo yeah. Sox fan in the ceiling needs to just get over himself. Anyway, <laughs> that's about all the sports I have for you. I guess you saw the final round of the Masters, right? No, I didn't see that. I well, heard that a Canadian, uh, a left Tiger came back and then faded. All you care about By Tiger? By the way, Christian a Canadian has an IV in today. What? If, if anybody wants to ask him a question, he's got Christian Galdabini, the chicks have been asking about him since all this began. Yeah. You want to grab the camera and talk to Christian? Do you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, here. No, no, here, here, here. Christian here Galdabini, he the camera he operator here, who is wearing Rick's hat. No, he's not wearing. He has his own. D does he have an IFB? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Shep, I do. I have you an do? IFB. Uh, I believe it was Jay Wallace in, in the in the booth who just said you look a bit like Gilligan today. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. If I, uh, I, I think I feel like Gilligan. I feel like I've been sleeping on a hammock uh, under uh, Skipper for the last five and a half weeks, but. Uh, we're out here and we're surviving. So. Put him in the stand in the sun so we can see you. Chris, Christian, man, uh, an amazing job. Yeah. You, you guys are going to be the kings when you get, get, get back here. I guess you know that. We're, we're mighty proud of you. How, how you doing? Well, uh, well, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I, you know, it's, it's, it's a pleasure to work with Rick Leventhal. He's, uh, he struck the perfect balance of uh, <laughs> explaining what's going on here. And, uh, and and getting the Marines involved because you know the story is the Marines and the guys who are who are fighting here and we're just along for the ride and the pictures have just kind of come to me I've just been in the right place at the right time and these guys do their thing and I'm just tagging along. <laughs> Rick is doing commentary. Want to say hello to anybody? Yeah, like uh, uh, I'd love to say hello to uh, all my friends and family. They're actually scattered throughout the country, but there's been a lot of uh, love and support sent my way and and. Uh, like the rest of these Marines, it's very important to us out here to know that the people back home are behind us, especially our loved ones, and it's, uh, it's been great. And, and folks may remember the day that we had Dusty Grubish on. Grubish is the, is the sat engineer. Rick's getting tricky with the camera. Grubish is the satellite engineer who did a couple of reports for us on breaking news, and we were all stunned back here, Dusty, to how, how really well it went. How you doing, Dust? How, How are you doing, doing Dusty? I'm doing very well, Shepard, and yourself? Oh, yeah, everything. We're in an air-conditioned studio. It was, we, we made it to about 75 today. Tomorrow for a Yankees daytime game, Dusty, at 12.30 tomorrow afternoon. We're expecting it to be about 40 and snow on Friday, so it's perfect timing for you to come back. 40 and snow on Friday. Snow on Friday? Potentially. Uh. <laughs> I thought we missed all that. Dusty, how's it been? So long. Hi how you doing? Dusty. Uh, I just like to say hi to my whole family, uh, family and friends. Uh, I've gotten also a, a lot of love and support from them. It's been nice. Uh, been able to call back and find that out throughout the duration of this trip. So thank you very That's much. That's all he's been doing, by the way, is on being on the phone. Uh, as well, taken after Rick with his girlfriend. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, they, there have been questions already about the sat phone bill, Tricky. <laughs> I hear you've reached well Wait into the second. six figures. What are you figures. talking about? <laughs> Is there no, anything else impossible. that anyone else out there wants to say? Because we got top of the hour headlines coming in a minute. Do you guys want to say anything to anybody? Uh, nice. Puberty? Anybody? And you want to say anything? Go ahead. Anything. I just want to say hi to all my family scattered across the country. Uh, I'm doing fine, and I'm glad. Thanks for all your support. Name and town of Mr. O'Pine. The South Summit Fire Department in Camas, Utah. Er, name and town. Uh, my name's Sergeant Sexton. I'm from uh, Camas, Utah, and I'm just proud to be here. Excellent. I, uh, my name is Cliff Hosher. I'd just like to say hi to my uh, family back home in Springville, Utah. and I'm doing well. Can't wait to get back. What do you do when you get home? Uh, I'm hoping to go to school. So that's uh, what I'm going to be doing. And you just got your hair cut. I did. Let's see the back. I don't know if I want to do that. It's, uh, <laughs> wow. Probably pretty wow. bad. You might need a little touch-up when you get back to Utah. I'm just, just, what, you want to say hi to anybody? Sure. Say hi to my wife, Sarah, Las Vegas, Nevada. Mom, Dad, Las Vegas. Hello, I'm doing well. We're doing all right here. Now, what do you do in Vegas? I'm um, full-time student. Uh huh. And when you get out of school? Um, I don't know. I was thinking about doing an active duty career in the Marine Corps. Is that right? Nice. All right. All well, good time. luck to you. You know, they call these guys, this, the, you're with Fox Company, right? Yes. They call Fox Company the Saints and the Sinners because they're from Salt Lake and Las Vegas. 
and we all love both cities, don't we? Oh yeah. You want to say hi to anybody? Yes, yeah, say hi to my parents and all my friends and family back home in Southern California. What, Santa Barbara. Santa your Barbara, name California. and where are you from? Lance Corporal Jackson from uh, Santa Barbara, California. Excellent. How about you, sir? I want to say hi to all my friends and family back home. My name is Lance Corporal Fennell. I'm from Owasso, Oklahoma. Okay. You know Rick? I say hi to my mom and then uh, Nicole. I love you. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay, one more. I want to say hi to my wife and son and all my family in Norman, Oklahoma. My name is Lance Corporal Ballard. Excellent. Excellent. I don't know Shepherd. if people remember, Rick, but these are the ones from the first night when you first switched over. These are the, these are the reservists who were walking through Baghdad looking for people to fire at them. These are people who used to have regular day yeah. jobs like everyone else and out there fighting for us. Yeah. And actually, uh, that, they were on an urban patrol the night we arrived and were, were in the middle of a fierce firefight that went on for some three or four hours. They were taking uh, mortars and RPGs and a lot of uh, AK-47 fire and they had nine casualties, nine uh, wounded, one serious. But did you guys hear how that, that one turned Commercial. out? Is he okay? He seems to be doing all right. Ladies He's and gentlemen, right. Rick Leventhal, the man of the hour. We'll be back in just a moment with your headlines and more with Rick, so hang on.